Hey guys, this is Ruffles Kerman. Today we're going to be sending a refueling base to Ike. So we're going to be making a little base with all the mining stuff, like the ore tanks and the ISRU, which converts all the ore into liquid fuel, and the drills, which takes the ore from the ground. So here you can see the drills, and we're going to stick the ISRU in right there, try to make them fit where they're not clipping too much. And yeah, you can also see this is starting to look a little weird. In the end, it's going to look more like a, a slug or a worm. Yeah, it's weird. But hey, if it works, it works, and it works. So yeah, how many times can you say it works in a single sentence? We're also adding some radiators to make sure we don't um, spontaneously combust. That's generally a good thing to avoid. These radiators up here are not near the drills or ISRU, so they don't do much, but they do look cool. And hey, if it looks cool, I'll keep it. As you can see, we're also adding the engines here. We're going to land the same way we're going to keep this base where we don't have to um, position it anywhere after we land it. And then we've added some solar panels as well. I'm not showing the whole build because this was my first draft. I don't do a build before I do the video. I just build and then record it. And then cut out everything I decided not to use. But yeah, we just copied one side and put it on the other. And now we have the worm. And we are taking this worm to Ike with this rocket. Now the rocket, I'm not going to show the build of the rocket because it's not as important. Anyway, we're having a nice dramatic uh, nighttime launch here. This rocket has lots of big engines. And we're just going to show the montage because again, it's not as important the rocket. We're more using the um, this worm we're taking to Ike. Such an affectionate term. But here now you can see the uh, worm in all its glory with that second stage this first stage was nothing special the second stage looks pretty cool it has um five skipper engines so it's not like the rhino or any giant engine it has a bunch of small engines which is pretty cool but now we're gonna do our duna transfer make sure we can actually get to duna now best duna transfer is when the angle from kerbin to the sun to duna is about 45 degrees maybe a little bit less uh, I'm not sure of the exact degree, but that's what I use, and it seems to work pretty well. So once you have that, look a little closer, as I just did, and make sure it's close enough to do near where you can actually do things. But here's that second stage. Second stage does look pretty cool, and we're just going to burn all the way to Duna. And then about halfway through our transfer to Duna, so we're, when we're sort of in interplanetary space, I guess, um... We're going to make this little correction burn, try to get closer. I'm also going to try to aim for Ike without going, getting an orbit around Duna. I don't know if that's the most efficient thing to do, but I did it anyway. We had some extra fuel at the end, so we're fine. That means we don't have to do a bunch of extra maneuvering and getting into Duna orbit. So now we have that trajectory and we're going to get a little maneuver note here and get into orbit around Ike. And again, probably not the most efficient way to do this, but if it works, it works. So here we are at Ike, and we're gonna start these engines and burn. Now, please ignore my skills at this moment. I was not um, doing the best burn I could here. Also, the maneuver node itself sort of glitched. As you can see, the orbit is not what I made it before. It's really eccentric, meaning um, it's periapsis, the lowest part, and the apoapsis, the highest part, right here, are very different. It's like 314, um, which was way bigger than I wanted it. But that can be fixed, as we're going to do now. First things first, though, we do have to get rid of this really cool second stage because it's no longer useless. And, yeah, maybe space junk is not the best, but there's a great thing in Kerbal Space Program called just deleting space junk. And then, you know, it just goes bye-bye. Like, maybe they have... Um, self-destruct methods or something they don't like space junk either so they do something but yeah I've, I've talked too long here's our satellite this satellite has the little ore survey scanners so we can tell where on ike has the largest concentration of ore and then land there so the highest concentration of purple would be the best spot to land because ore means mining and mining means more fuel and more fuel is sort of what this space is all about so once we have a suborbital trajectory to land on the purple then we can just make sure we're not landing at too high of a velocity um as usual 
it's not that hard to land on Ike. Ike is about the same as the one with just a little bit less gravity. So just make sure, you know, you're trying to come in pretty slow. I am usually very conservative about landings, trying to keep it below 100 meters per second after, um, after like 2,000 meters. So yeah, maybe that's not always the best way to go, but hey, if it works, it works. That's like my favorite saying now. Anyway, we just landed on the on Ike, so it is time to plant our flag. At this point, I don't have my own design of a flag. Um, I have, as you will see here, I have a flag that I do like, but I will in the future when I get my own design for a flag. But in the meantime, this flag will do just nicely. Baby Yoda is always amazing. So after we've planted our flag, we can go back to the refueling base. And I guess it is time to start mining. So I have a bunch of action groups set up here, so it's pretty easy. I can just press buttons in a row and then, you know, it all folds out and it's perfect. I did notice here the battery runs out sort of fast, not too fast, but sort of fast. But that's because I was using all four drills and the ISRU at the same time. If you don't want it to run out too fast, just don't do that. But um, I was not being super smart here, so I did do that. Anyway, right here I'm trying to hop to make sure my solar panels have a little bit better angle towards the sun and maybe have a bit better battery um, or a bit better electricity generating, I guess, generation. Or I could have just turned off the ISRU, which I didn't do. So if you guys want to copy this base or build something like it, just do that. I did run into a problem as I was time warping to mine and alternatively fill the battery. This happened. Yeah, but we don't talk about that. The power of the quick save means that everybody lived happily ever after and nobody died. So thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and have a great rest of your day.